Hello, I'm William with Motor Sportsland. I'm gonna give you a walk around on the brand new StarCraft AR1 Max 24 RKS or rear kitchen with a slide. Um, we're gonna start on the outside, go around it, then we'll head inside and I'll try to hit on everything that this trailer has to offer you. Uh, I might miss a couple things, but we'll try to hit it all. So uh, first off by the door here, um, you can see that they've uh, noted the climate package on this. It's kind of their four season uh, trailer. It's, it's got a, a wrapped enclosed underbelly that's heated. Um, the water tanks are all up inside there. It uh, really helps for more of your extended season camping. Um, so that's a real nice feature. You've got three steps here, not two steps. Um, something's gonna be real attractive with this plan is the overall length. We're talking about 26 feet of length. Um, very usable with a half ton pickup truck. Your weight on this trailer, dry weight, is on the door here, 6,530 pounds. So that's well within the tow capacities of most newer half-ton pickup trucks. Um, and then your overall length, being you're talking about a fifth wheel, you've got that overlap on the front part. So your effective um, towing length is probably closer to the equivalent of a model number 20 or 21 um, bumper pull trailer. So very short trailer. This can be able to go a lot of places that you want to take it. So continue on here. I've got aluminum uh, wheels here. Um, these are 15 inch rims. You've got uh, the flipped axles on this, which is getting the trailer up in the air a little bit more, giving you better ground clearance. Um, moving up along the side here. This is the uh, pass-through storage. Goes all the way to the other side and there's another door just like this over there. Um, lots of good storage in there. You've got the light. Uh, this is a smaller fifth wheel, so no, it's not going to be the huge pass-through storage like you see on 40 footers, but um, relatively speaking, this is a pretty good amount of storage space for a small fifth wheel like this. Uh, this right here is a hookup for uh, putting an exterior um, solar panel uh, with the trailer. So if you want to uh, get your batteries charging up, you can buy one of the external solar panels, you know, set it up on its little tripod, aim it towards the sun, plug it in here, you're going to be charging your battery. So that's a real nice feature there. Behind this door here, we've got one of the two seven and a half gallon or 30 pound propane tanks, uh, one on each side. So lots of propane to um, have you camping all summer long, not have to fill back up. The, uh, there's a good angle there. You can see the real nice uh, power awning with the LED light strip underneath it. And that is adjustable on each side so that you can uh, you can tilt that to get the rainwater to come off one side versus uh, just puddling up in there. You got a real nice fiberglass front cap to this. Uh, the nice thing with this is the seams are not right down along the front edge here. They're tucked back along the side. So if you're towing this trailer through a thunderstorm or something at 60, 65 miles an hour, you don't have the water, the rain, you know, smashing into the front uh, uh, seam here. It's hitting here and then just splattering around the sides by the time it hits the uh, caulked seam here. So real nice design on the front, plus it's a swept away um, corners on this, which helps with your short bed pickup trucks towing this without having this crash into the cab of your truck. So this is designed to uh, get you pretty close to 88 uh, degree turn radius with a short bed pickup truck, not having to work with a sliding uh, fifth wheel hitch. Got LED lights on the front uh, here to help you with uh, when you're hooking up to this at night, you can turn these on and you'll be able to, to see better as you're, as you're backing into the hitch. So underneath, you've got uh, some more storage here. And a uh, real nice, nice thing they pointed out the camera come over here. We've got a, uh, a battery disconnect switch in here. So that's a main disconnect, you turn that off and you don't have any uh, battery drain happening. So it's a real nice feature when you're done camping, turn that off, all the lights go off, everything. So you're not gonna be uh, uh, unknowingly using your batteries. You got power front uh, landing jacks. That's nice. Here's the other um, propane bottle. So again, two of those. And then here's uh, the rest of that access to the pass-through storage. So again, that, that's a lot more than most smaller fifth wheels are gonna have. This right here is your uh, black tank flush option. So if you hook, a, after you're done draining your black tanks, you hook a, a garden hose up to this, turn that garden hose on, it's gonna 
send pressurized water to shower heads, basically. They're down the black tank. So when they turn on, they're cleaning all that black tank out for you nice and good. So that's a really nice feature. And uh, full slide out here. You can see this isn't just a small slide out that comes out a, a foot or so. This is a full depth slide out. I'm guessing somewhere around 36 inches. Coming back over here, you've got uh, your fresh water fill right here. And this is a gravity fed system. Uh, you don't have to hook up a garden hose under pressure. You just stick the garden hose down in here. And uh, the nice thing about that is if you're out camping, dry camping, and you want to uh, add a little more water, you can just go fill up your five gallon jugs of water take them over here and just dump them right in. You don't have to have a garden hose under pressure. So that's a real nice feature. And we're seeing some of the trailers out there getting away from that, going to uh, uh, where you have to hook in a, an actual garden hose under pressure to fill that. Um, I think that's basically a sign of some of the manufacturers out there not getting it, that some of us like to go dry camping where we're gonna wanna just add some water. You've got 50 gallon water tank with the trailer, so fairly sufficient uh, for most of your, uh, your dry camping needs. And you see you got the 30 amp power connection here satellite hookup, outside shower with hot and cold water, and then a six gallon hot water um, uh, heater that automatically lights. You just push a button inside, that'll light, light right up. It's an 18 gallon per hour recovery rate. So very good chance you're not gonna run out of uh, hot water. This right here doesn't look like a lot of storage. This really wasn't designed for storage. What this is getting to, you move this panel here and you're right to the back side of the uh, hot water heater. So for your your hot water bypass and doing your uh, winterization makes it really easy. Otherwise, you'd be taking things apart inside the kitchen to get to that area, but they've made that real accessible. So it makes it just great for uh, winterizing. You've got uh, the StarCraft trailer with a uh, arched rounded roof on the top, not a flat roof. And you also have uh, right in the center above your marker lights there, that is uh, pre-wired for a backup camera. So uh, if you want to put a backup camera in, all the wiring's right there. You just uh, add that to that housing up there. Okay, with that, we'll uh, end on a couple things outside. You've got a uh, gas uh, quick connect here for your barbecuing. So you can just hook a barbecue right up to that, your camp chef, and that's gonna run right off those uh, big propane tanks you have. In the back, we've got manual stabilizing jacks. I really like that um, out west here. We're doing a lot of dry camping. That gives you independent uh, stability as opposed to electric jacks which are going to have one motor putting both jacks down and if you've got a pothole on one side and a rock on the other side you're, you're gonna have a tough time leveling it where this you can independently put down each side and if you want to take a uh, cordless drill to that then essentially you have an electric uh, stabilizing jack just use a cordless drill with a with a socket on the end okay we'll go ahead and head inside so this is a uh, rear kitchen design so you can see the kitchens on the back. One of the real nice things that gains you is a lot of countertop space compared to some of your other floor plans. So this will be a real popular uh, plan for folks that aren't necessarily looking to sleep eight, 10 people, just kind of want uh, more room for, you know, two, four people or something like that. Um, here's your slide out, uh, the dinette slide out. This will convert into a bed. Take the cushion, put the bed down, take these back cushions, put them on top of that. Lots of windows. They didn't uh, you know, try to save money by not giving you the windows on the side and just a window in the back. You've got windows all around. You've got the extra cabinets up here, which is nice. LED lights throughout the uh, inside of the trailer. That's a real nice feature, again, for that dry camping. You're not gonna use your batteries as much if you've got the LED lights. Um, back uh, by the door entrance there, you've got an eight cubic foot fridge. So this is uh, pretty much the biggest single door fridge you're gonna get. Um, so a lot of nice space there. The freezer, a nice uh, feature with the Norcold fridge, it actually <laughs> drops down in here so that you've got uh, kind of a shelf there, which is uh, pretty handy. Okay, storage wise, this is something a lot of times uh, trailers lack are drawers. You know, they have one or two drawers. Here we've got three full extension drawers here. You know, more storage space there. All the cabinets up here with shelves. A lot of good uh, kitchen area here. The couch in this plan is a scissor couch for additional sleeping room. So you just open that up, you know, take the pillows out, kind of fluff that down a little bit. 
not the best sleeping area, but for kids and things like that, they're gonna love that. Um, it's a lot better than the dirt outside, right? So that goes back. Um, room here for the TV. It's got uh, a mounting bracket in behind this spot here. And then these wires are hooked up to the radio, which will also play DVD movies right through this into the TV and all your hookups there. Um, you know, more storage space or where you look. This is huge here. Nice big pantry. I mean, that's a lot of room, right? And then moving on up front here, pretty cool feature. I'll close the camera guy out here. This bathroom door opens up and becomes the uh, wall there for a little extra privacy. It's got a little catch here. Pretty ingenious that they uh, factored that into the design. Big closet here. I don't know if, how far that opens out there for you. You know, huge area there. Plus you still have uh, more room on either side of the bed, which we'll see up front. And enormous drawers here, right? I mean, two of those. Plenty of room. This is a 24, 24 model number trailer. I mean, the, the amount of storage they fit into this floor plan is really uh, extraordinary. Bed, even more storage under that. Has hydraulic uh, struts to lift that up for you. And as far as headroom, you know, this is a smaller fifth wheel, so I'm six foot tall. I've still got, you know, six, seven, eight inches above my head here. Now, as soon as I start to go up around the bed here, okay, you know, it, it starts to shrink up a little bit, but, you know, we're not looking at a 40 foot fifth wheel here. So lots of room here. The lights, take a look at the bathroom here. One of the nice things I like to point out about the bathroom, you've got a porcelain toilet base, not a plastic toilet. It's actually porcelain. So that's uh, a lot stronger, a lot easier to clean. You've got uh, more cabinetry around the sink and just making the best use of space they can. And with that, we'll head back down to the living room and wrap things up. So that's, uh, I think that pretty much hits it all. I'm sure I missed a couple things, but uh, Hopefully that helps you out with painting a picture of what the uh, 24RKS has to offer. And I uh, would love to show you the trailer in person. Swing on down to Motorsportsland. Again, I'm William. Be happy to help you out. And thanks for your time. Let Motorsportsland guide you to the dreams and